Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. We are live in Studio B. I'm Spencer Linton alongside Jason Shepard. Shep, listen to some of your calls from last season. Does that get you juiced? Yes, it BYU does. Women's I basketball? I cannot wait for year two. Let's go. Well, let's bring in a great guest to discuss that very topic. He is BYU Women's Basketball Assistant Coach John Wardenberg. Great to have you back in Studio B, Coach. Spencer, thanks for having me, Shep. It's always great to see you. See you every day almost. <laughs> it seems like working every day, but yeah, really, really excited to be here. Thanks yeah. for having us. I'll ask you a similar question to what I just brought up with Jason. When you watch those highlights and you hear Shep's voice and you think about the prospect of taking another step forward and getting another season in the Big 12 under your belt, what kind of emotions do you feel? Oh, excited. I mean, our, our, if you've come and watched us practice, the steps we've made this summer and into this fall are fantastic. Got a great group of girls. Uh, uh, they're together. They're playing. They're practicing hard. And really really excited about the steps that we believe we're going to take this year you know i think the word that comes to mind as i'm watching practice well two energy and the team's hungry they're fighting for loose balls and i i think the camaraderie has been good um there is a there is a really positive strong energy in those practices yeah, no no doubt about it i i think that our returning girls have done a great job of letting the new girls understand and know this is where where you're at and this is where we need to be and and that's really really been important to us and then we've added some girls with some maturity some girls that have played i mean Camry martin martin is a girl that has played uh for four years in a pac 12. i mean she knows the level of where we need to be and uh she's been a great leader for us also and so Love our leadership, love what our, our more experienced girls are bringing, but also the energy and the passion that our younger girls are playing with has been fantastic. Without question, Kimmery helps fill at least part of the void that Lauren Gustin leaves with that veteran leadership. So how else do you try and make amends for the best rebounder in the country no longer being with the team? Well, I, I think that Shep mentioned it, there's much more camaraderie. We're, we're, the chances of having another 15 to 16 a game rebounder, that's pretty hard to do. And, you know, we, we like the pieces that we've added in there, but as a group, we have to be better rebounders. We have to be better defenders collectively. And don't forget, I mean, it isn't just Gustin we're replacing. We got Smiler that, Kaylee that's not here anymore, that just was a, a, a fireball every time she took the floor. And then Kaylee Wollston's on a mission. And yeah. I mean, we've got some we've got some big pieces to fill, but we're excited about where we're headed and what we're doing so far. Fair point. And, yeah. I, and I feel like uh, you're talking about a lockdown defender who was obviously under the radar. But I mean, you said Kaylee out there to to often guard the opponent's best player. Yeah, Smy was uh, like. Almost every game was like, hey, you got Shep. Don't let him sniff the ball. And, uh, <laughs> Guarding me, honestly, was not a problem at all, I promise. But, but it, it, she, and she did a fantastic job of it. And then she hit open shots. All, and, you know, so those three, among others, you know, we've had some uh, girls that left and gone into the portal. But it's, it's, yeah, really like what we're doing to replace them. You mentioned, you know, a lot of new faces and a lot of, of young, talented players have come into the program on top of some of the transfers. You mentioned Kimry already. Who are some of those new players that, that fans should pay attention to? Well, I think uh, you're going to love uh, Kendra Gillespie, uh, KG. I think that she brings uh, a passion and joy of playing. Uh, again, there's, she's been to several. She started at Baylor. And she uh, transferred, I think it was uh, Arkansas State. Don't quote me on that. But, uh, and uh, now she's here. And just how passionate she is and thankful. And she's, she's doing a really, really, really good job for us. And then our freshman group, uh, another transfer, Mariah, is uh, uh, Hodgkins from Santa Clara is just doing a fantastic job. Again, all of those girls in the portal that we brought in have been fantastic. And then you add our freshman, uh, Delaney Gibb, is, has been a, a just a, I'm not going to say a surprise because we knew what she's capable of. And she, along with uh, 
you know, with our other freshmen have just been fantastic for us. BYU women's basketball assistant coach John Wardenberg is with us on BYU Sports Nation. Coach, we were just talking about Kaylee Smiler being that lockdown defender. Who is that player this go-around right now? Well, I think, I mean, that conversation probably starts with Amari. Uh, she's, she's proven it, and she's taken another step, mm. another year out from where, you know, from her ACL recovery. I mean, you think about what we tried to do last year and what we did. We started two true freshmen. Uh, at the guard line in the Big 12. It's wild. And, yeah, it is wild. And she's she has come. She's prepared herself. Uh, and, uh, you know, we don't have the stats here, but I will tell you that in terms of summer preparation in the weight room, Amari led us in every category that Steve, our weight guy, put together. Amari plus, plus, plus. And so she she's really, really taken steps. And so we'll start with her. I mentioned Delaney has done a fantastic job of adapting and trying to figure out how we need to defend. And then we have a couple other freshmen that I, I think you're really, really going to like. Cambry Barber, uh, a long athletic girl from Idaho, and uh, Brindley Cannon, a, a, a last name that you know, BYU Cougar fans will remember Brother McKay played oh, yeah. here. And those girls, along with Sarah Bartholomew, have brought a, a, a certain passion about defending, and we're really excited to have them part of our group. And it's not Cambry. It's Cambry. Yeah. Yeah, yes, we, yes, we. We had that conversation. We had that conversation <laughs> when, she, when she joined us here. We want to make sure that it gets pronounced correctly. Yes, yes. So one of the things that I, I wanted to ask you about, we now have the conference schedule. It was released within the last couple of days. So now you've got to look at year two in the Big 12. And that's been so much of the talk over the last little while is BYU going into the Big 12. Now that you've had an opportunity to play in this league, now going into year two, what do you make of the schedule and how much better prepared do you feel as a coaching staff and a team heading into this conference again? Well, obviously, second year, you've traveled, you've gotten some of those kinks out, you know, oh, this hotel's better than that hotel. Obviously, with the addition of these four new teams, a, a little bit different, but I think the schedule makers uh, were good to us. We have three teams that we play home and home. That would be the school up north and the two Arizona schools. And I think that's great for us. They're in the same time zone. We're not having to go multiple time zones to get to them on the road or whatever. I think we have a great home schedule. And then our road trips, our road games, are games that uh, th we have three where we're back-to-back -back road. And two of them are kind of where we're, you know, kind of compressed, where probably we're going to stay out the road. But I also love the fact that three of our last five games are at home, and the other two that are not at home are, again, in the same time zone. So one is a bus trip, and the other is a quick trip to Arizona. Marriott Madness tomorrow night. Yeah. What are you guaranteeing that fans will experience if they are in the building tomorrow night? Well, they're going to experience uh, seeing a whole bunch of new faces for the <laughs> women's basketball team. I, I can tell you that uh, Coach Wardenberg is probably the last to know about all the stuff that's going on <laughs> on that stuff. Pretty focused on, uh, on our practices and scheduling and, and recruiting that stuff. But it, it's going to be absolute chaos. I, I've loved watching what the men are doing. I love their staff. I think they're doing a great job. And, again, along with us, I think both programs are trending not only like this, but way up, like man. way up, way, way up. I, I wanted to ask you real quick, and, and maybe it's not a quick answer, but I know how close you are with Dave Rose. And we got to see Dave. He was at practice just the other yeah. day and actually talked to the team. Um, but he was just recently inducted into the, into the BYU Hall of Fame. And I know that you have a really close relationship with him what what does what does that mean for you to see him getting those honors oh I, it, it you know I don't want to get real emotional here Shep but it, it I think that past due first of all and I think what Dave did to help build basketball here uh, 
is really underestimated and under, underappreciated in, in a lot of areas. The fact that he spearheaded building the annex and got that thing going and, and the level that he brought that to um, is, is unbelievable. And I, I'm, I'm so happy for Dave. I'm happy for his family. Uh, happy for the players. We had a chance. Uh, Lee kind of got together a couple of teams Thursday night and we all met at a local pizza place and got together and coach was there and just to see the growth of those young men and and the love that they have for Dave it it, it yeah it was great and I I'm glad that he was honored no not glad I'm ecstatic that mm. he was honored it was great very, very well said. A great way to end this interview yep. as Thank we think you. about Dave and uh, how much joy he has brought <laughs> yeah. to oh, BYU it, fans. It, it was great having him talk to our girls, yeah. and the, the, the wisdom that he shared was absolutely – one thing about Coach Rose, I'll tell you real quick, is that the guy knew how to build teams, and he knew how to get teams to play together, and he knew about leadership and getting everybody bought into a common goal. And, you know, I think we're headed for us this year. We're headed in that direction. Like I said, that's why we're trending this way. And I believe the men are also great stuff. Coach Wardenberg, thanks for spending some yeah. time with oh, us no, on BYU pleasure. Sports yeah. Nation. Any, anytime you guys uh, appreciate all you guys do for us and in our individual program, but our school. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. Always a pleasure to have you with us.